Traffic concerns in Southeast Ocala caught the attention of city staff. But before they make any changes, they want residents to weigh in on it. TV20's Emma Delamo tells us what neighborhood could be affected with new construction. Daniel Blackman is hoping to see three things in his Southeast Ocala neighborhood. Sidewalks, bicycle lanes, and playgrounds. That is, our, that is uh, my request and my seven-year-old's request as well. He's one of several residents attending the city's neighborhood traffic study meeting, learning how staff evaluated data based on several factors such as crash history, traffic volume, and speed limits. The city engineer tells me an influx of complaints led them to study the area. It would be to address the speeding concerns in the neighborhood, and then at the same time we're looking for opportunities to provide stuff like uh, pedestrian facilities that aren't there, uh, bike lanes, Lanes, share lanes and, and such. Here's a map with the city's recommendations. The study covers a portion of Southeast Ocala between Southeast Watula Avenue and 22nd Avenue, bordered by Southeast Fort King Street and State Road 464. You need to see it actually be done. Um, I know they have some sidewalk proposals and those make a lot of sense, some bicycle proposals and that's great as well. Uh, I don't know if it's enough or not. I guess we'll have to kind of wait and see. But overall, it seemed like some good, well thought out ideas. A consultant with Kimley Horn says raised pedestrian crosswalks, roundabouts, and chokers are all effective ways to reduce traffic. Their recommendations will be presented to city council members next month. But residents are encouraged to submit their input beforehand. All public comment must be submitted by April 24th. We'll have more information on our website, wcjb.com. In Ocala, Emma Delamo, TV20 News.